The purpose of this video is to walk through the first Python script in this course, which will be especially helpful if you're a beginner with Python. I have Spider open here, which is the development, development environment or code editor that we recommend that you use throughout the class. Now, the first couple lines of this script are a comment, and it says what we're going to do with this script, which is to look at a feature class inside of a geodatabase and then print the spatial reference of that feature class. Something fairly simple. Now, in line four, we import the ArcPy site package. If you are writing a script that has any, anything at all to do with geoprocessing or looking at Esri data sets, then you're going to have this line at the top of your script. So you can get in the habit of, of using it in most of your scripts in this class. In line six, we create a variable, a string variable called feature class. And uh, we could have called it anything, really. What we call it is up to us. Now, what we're assigning to that variable here is the path of the feature class that we want to look at. And we put that in quotes, which makes it a string in the eyes of Python. And when you make a string, Spider helps you out by putting that text in green so it's easy to spot in your code. Notice that in the path, we use forward slashes. This is different from the common backslash that you would see usually when you specify a path. But the backslash in Python is a reserved character. So you have to use either two backslashes or a forward slash as we see here. Uh, you're gonna see both of those methods used in the course. In this case, the path is pointing at a file geodatabase, which you can see here with the usa.gdb. Inside that file, ge file geodatabase is a feature class called boundaries. And this is probably a polygon or a line feature class. If you didn't know the exact path to get, you could open up uh, the catalog view in ArcGIS Pro, navigate to the feature class, and then you'd be able to see in the location bar the exact path to use. So in line nine, we call a method in ArcPy called the describe method, and it gives us back a describe object. We've mentioned in the course material that everything in Python is an object, and objects have properties that describe them and methods that are things that they know how to do. If you want to learn more about this uh, particular object, the describe object, you could look it up in the ArcGIS Pro help. Now in our case, uh, the describe object has uh, a property that we want to work with called spatial reference. Before we move off of line nine, I want to point out the uh, parentheses there. So when you call this describe method, you need to put something inside the parentheses, which is the path of the feature class that you would like to describe. We don't have to type the full path again because we made a variable earlier to store that path. So this is where you can just plug in that feature class variable and Python's going to read the actual path held in that variable, C colon PSU, et cetera, et cetera. So after line nine is executed, we have a describe object and that object has a property, as I mentioned, which is the spatial reference. So in line 10, that's what we are getting, reading. We're uh, using DESC, which is the name of our describe object, and dot spatial reference to uh, read the spatial reference property and get back the spatial reference object associated with that feature class. Now, we can't print out an object. If you try to print spatial ref to the Spider console, Spider is just going to tell you that the thing you're trying to print is an object, which isn't very helpful. So we need to actually uh, get a property off of this spatial reference object. And the property we want to use is called name. So that's why in line 13, we do spatial ref dot name inside the parentheses. By this time, we've gone down far enough that we've gotten to a string. Uh, spatial ref dot name just gives you back a string with the spatial reference name. And so that's something that we can print to the spider console. So uh, now I'm going to run the script. To run a script, uh, you just click on the, uh, the run file button, which looks like a play icon. 
we'll see later in the course that scripts sometimes require arguments or pieces of information like a path name or a number in order to do their job. Uh, and it's possible to supply such arguments, but this is a pretty simple script that doesn't require any kind of input. So we can just go ahead and, and click on that run button. Now, anytime you run a script that includes a print statement, you should look to the lower right pane of the spider window to the area labeled as the IPython console. Before your print statement output, you'll actually see a mes message that indicates the path and name of the script that you're running. Uh, but then after that comes your output, which in this case is simply the word geographic, meaning that this particular feature class has a geographic coordinate system.